let's discuss using the sales tool within Outlook specifically to add or update a contact. You'll see I have a new email scheduled in my Outlook here. I have typed in the email address of the person that I want it to be sent to, in this case, my own email address. I'm gonna go ahead and as it's set up for me, I'll open up my more commands bar. And you'll see as it drops down, I have this HubSpot sales tools. Uh, there's a lot of options in here that will be covered in other videos. Uh, what I wanna specifically look at though is this contact profiles. Because I already have the email address input, if I click on contact profiles, you'll see the HubSpot sales tool will open up and I actually have my contact here pop up directly here. So I can actually open it up in the CRM. I can see about, I can actually edit all of this information here. I can open up the other drop downs and see what company they're assigned to. I can see deals, tasks, timeline, and tickets all related to this. Um, so pretty much all of the actions that you have within HubSpot, you are able to do directly from your Outlook. Now, if I have an individual, and in this case, we're gonna go ahead and do just a test, something that we clearly do not have within our HubSpot. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the contact profiles, and you'll see that automatically, I have this email address come up, I then can just add to HubSpot directly here. It's going to add the contact. You'll see again, just like we saw with my test, uh, my Dieter test uh, contact, I now have all of this in. This is added to the CRM, but you'll see that there's not much information in here otherwise. So I can actually go in uh, and directly from here, update all of the information that I need. Makes it very simple to add uh, contacts directly from Outlook without having to jump into the CRM and do all of the work manually.